Hello and welcome to my new series. So this is Woodblock with Laura and in this series of films I'm going to take you through one of my Japanese woodblock prints from start to finish. I'm going to give you lots of hints and tips along the way about the process but basically we're going to work with one of my prints here. I'll talk about it a little bit more in a sec and these films are going to come out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays on YouTube only. So please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it because they won't be on social media anymore. And every fortnight I'm going to do a live stream on Friday evenings at eight o'clock. That's London time for those of you abroad. And in those live streams, happy to chat, answer questions. And those can still be questions about lino if you've got leftover questions from the last two series I've, I've done. So um, you can find out about live streams on my homepage of my website at lauraboswell.co.uk. They're always up there so you won't miss one. So in this series, we're going to work with a, a drawing, a design that is based on a sketch of um, Buttermere in Cumbria. And I've developed it into a drawing. I'm not there yet because there's a way to go to work out the layers and the registration. Japanese woodblock is a multi-block process, or at least the way I do it, it's a multi-block process. So I have a lot of registration to sort out and go through with you. The other um, wild card is this rather wonderful piece of wood. It's a piece of yew. And I bought it about five years ago and it's sat in the studio ever since because I've never really had a print I've found appropriate to use it with. And I think it's time has come. So I need to raise the grain on this and I'll show you how to do that. And also how I'm going to work out the registration so that this rather random piece of wood fits into this very upright picture. So going to look at that. And also some of the really interesting materials of Japanese woodblock um, are going to be printing with brushes and not with rollers. So very different from lino. And we'll look a bit at brushes and preparation for brushes and also some hacks. So that if you don't have access to Japanese brushes, sort of some improvisations you can do. I'm going to be using watercolours to print with. And you can use other stuff as well, and I'll talk about that. But I've, I'm excited because I've got some brand new watercolours from Michael Harding, who uh, is known for his oil paints, but he's about to introduce a watercolour range. So I've got some um, samples to try there, which is quite exciting. And um, that's another little bit of design I've done there, which I'm going to explain as we go along. And I will probably be using um, bamboo select washi paper to print on for this project. But I'll look a lot more at papers I've not really decided yet. And I'll explain why I haven't decided and um, how you choose papers and damp them and things like that. But that will come later on. So there's loads to deal with. And we'll keep these films sort of short and sweet and not too full on so that you can dip in and out. But I hope you'll join me for the whole series so that you can see these initial ideas end up in a finished editioned print. So thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you again.